Good afternoon, Year 10, and welcome back to school. Whether you're feeling like Dan on the left-hand side of the slide or Keanu on the right-hand side of the slide, whether you're filled with worry and anxiety about coming back to school or whether you're filled with optimism and excitement about being here, please know that we're really pleased that you're back in school and we want to make your time here as safe and as productive as possible. So please do pay attention to the next slide just so that I can explain to you what we expect of you now that you're back. Now it's our priority to keep you and the staff safe while you're here back in school. So it's really important that you follow all of the safeguarding social distancing measures that we've put in place, queuing up sensibly at two meter distance, washing your hands when you come in, sticking to the one way system, going straight to your classroom and sticking to the seating plan as well. We've put that in place to make sure that should anybody get sick, we know exactly where they've been sitting. We also need to minimize movement around the room and around school. So you are expected to stay in your place. At a appointed break time, you'll be able to stretch, have a snack if you've brought one, and we'll give you bottled water if you need a drink. But please remain in your seats and in your area. Again, when you leave the school this afternoon, follow the one-way system, walk around to the PE doors as you're directed to do so, and then make your way out safely. Please, on the way home, don't congregate in groups, keep your distance from one another and make your way straight home. You'll see in class that actually we won't use books in the same way. You'll be given paper to work on and if your teacher wants to see your work, they may well ask you to take a photograph of it and upload it to Teams. That way it stops the teacher having to move around the classroom as well. Please also remember to take all your work with you. Now we are cleaning the rooms before you go in and we're cleaning the rooms after you've used them, so the rooms should be safe, but do remember to sanitize your hands as you go in as well. If there's any concerns that you've got, any worries that you've got, let the teachers know and we'll try and address them for you. But remember, we want you to stay safe and well, both here and on the way home from school. It's great to have you back in school year 10, and we really want you to focus now on getting yourselves ready for your GCSEs, which are less than a year away. Mr. Ante is going to talk at more, in more detail about how you can do that. But I want to remind you that your success will depend on how much work you put in, how much you stay focused. We need you, despite all the distractions that you've had and all the problems that are happening out there, to stay focused on your education, believe in yourselves and achieve your best. Good afternoon, Year 10. I hope you and your families are well. I'm going to start by using a quote from Colin Kaepernick. Believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. Colin Kaepernick is an American football player and a prominent civil rights activist. In 2016, he launched a peaceful protest against racial injustice in the United States. He initially remained seated on the benches when his teammates were standing during the national anthem. With time, he transitioned to taking a knee during the national anthem as a show of support to the military veterans. You may have seen numerous people across the world during the global protest against racial inequality taking a knee. And this is where it originates from Colin Kaepernick's peaceful protest in 2016. His message relates to where you are currently as year 10 students. Believe in something. Believe in your ability to get a good set of GCC results next summer, even if it means sacrificing everything. Colin Kaepernick has not played since the 2016-2017 NFL season. He's sacrificed his career because he believes in the fight against racial injustice in America. What are you going to sacrifice? Are you going to sacrifice the amount of time you spend on social media? The amount of time you're spending with individuals who do not quite align with your goals and visions. What are you going to sacrifice in order to achieve your goals? As you attend students, you find yourself in an unprecedented situation. We haven't had the capacity to teach in a normal setting for almost three months. And we continue to await government guidelines as to when we're going to return to a sense of normality. A phrase which has been branded around in the media for the last few months has been a new normal. What does a new normal look like for individuals? And I'm going to speak to you today as to how we can ensure your new normal 
is going to be successful in your pursuit of getting a very good set of GCC results as we alluded to before earlier in this presentation. I'm going to make reference to an acronym I've used previously, C. But sometimes you have to see it in order to believe it. This is also an opportunity to be independent learners. This is a vital skill for those of you who have ambitions of getting top grades, which I know all of you want to achieve next summer. Independent learning, what this looks like, it means that you're not just satisfied with the tasks you have completed on Teams. You are hungry and you are curious in terms of your thirst for knowledge. You are going to create mind maps, flashcards, or even use GCC Pod, Century Tech, to further your knowledge and further your understanding. This is independent learning. And if you harbor ambitions of doing well, as I've alluded to before, this is a fundamental skill. It's not just the skill which will serve you well in year 11, it will serve you well when you get to sixth form and of course and beyond. And also one thing that I must make mention of, for those of you who are coming in next week and for those of you who will be returning when the government decides that it's safe to do so, it's incredibly important that you are on time to all of your lessons and you are always present. Attendance and punctuality are two hallmarks of incredibly successful students. There is a positive correlation between those students who have very high attendance percentages and the grades they obtain at the end of a year or at the end of a particular summative assessment. And also, these students are not just present. They make sure they are on time to every single one of their lessons. They're not meandering in the corridors, doing laps. They make sure that they are on time because every moment spent in a classroom is valuable. You never know. The first five, six minutes of a particular lesson, that may be the first question which comes up on your RE exam, your science exam. We will never know. So it's imperative that you're always on time and you're always present. The first E stands for endeavour, to try hard to do or achieve something. I'm going to make reference to the late Steve Jobs, who was the CEO of Apple before he passed. Steve Jobs was actually fired from Apple in 1985, but he was not deterred. He remained resilient in the face of adversity, and he was actually rehired by Apple many years later. One of his famous quotes is as follows. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow know what you truly want to become. In his famous speech at Stanford University in 2005, Steve Jobs actually stated being fired was the best thing that ever happened to him. He admitted initially he didn't know what to do for the first few months. He felt that he had let down the previous generation of entrepreneurs and that the baton had been passed to him and that he had dropped the baton. He even thought about running away from Silicon Valley. But something slowly began to dawn on him. He loved what he did. The turn of events at Apple had not changed that. He still loved what he did. And so therefore, he decided to start over. A quote which encompasses the trials and tribulations of the late Steve Jobs is this famous quote from Nelson Mandela. Do not judge me by my successes. Judge me by how many times I fell down and got back up again. So if you are able to demonstrate self-discipline and able to demonstrate endeavor, hopefully in a year's time we'll be celebrating your excellent results. This is what excellence looks like. These are some of your peers from last year. They will now be in year 12, moving to year 13. They're celebrating after achieving excellent GCC results. Whose photo would we be using next year because you have achieved excellent GCC results as year 10 students? I'm going to finish with this video all about time and the value of time. And I hope that during this period of time, you have thought about how during the new normal, you are going to ensure that you are still putting yourself in the best possible position to get an outstanding or even excellent set of results and how 
everything that you are doing now will bear fruit next summer.